Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Are we in a loop? In the TV show, Westworld, the story goes that a bunch of very intelligent robots are put into an artificial park to go through the same daily loop of activities in order to create this park experience old as a service to real people. As you can imagine, a lot of cool things, but also some messed up things would occur in that park. However, one day some of these robots wake up. Is it possible that we are also in a loop that's much longer and more sophisticated? Build up, reset, build up, reset, build up, reset. And the beings that put us in this loop, are they in a bigger loop themselves too that they can't break out of? So how can we break out of these loops? Do we need the assistance of the one? Are you the one? Sergeyevka Park, Russia. A giant granite head sticks out of the ground, situated in the park's forest. It was visited by a young Alexander Pushkin in 1818 and had been there long before him. It's shrouded in mystery as nobody knows who built it and why. Some believe it's actually a full statue going deep underground. There has been no proper excavation done in this whole time. It's as if they are afraid of what they may find which will alter the history books. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Prussian King Frederich's Army of Giants the most beautiful girl or woman in the world would be a matter of indifference to me, King Friedrich Wilhelm I of Prussia once said. But tall soldiers, they are my weakness. So obsessed was he, that Friedrich built a whole regiment of giants during his 1713-1740 reign. Certainly, life was good for the giants. Friedrich made sure they never went to war. Instead, he would order them to march through his quarters while he lay in bed. However, rumors that he tried to make them even taller by stretching them on racks, hit morale hard, and so after a while a new recruits were obtained through kidnapping. The king also set up a breeding program to produce a new generation of fighting giants. Unsurprisingly, few shared the king's obsession. His son, Frederick the Great, inherited 3,200 tall men in 1740, but had the unit disbanded. The San Pedro Mummy In July 1934, two miners in the San Pedro Mountains came across something rarer than gold. After blasting their way into a hidden mountain cavern, the miners discovered a diminutive human body, no more than 14 inches at its full height. The mummy had a full set of teeth, and x-rays also revealed what appeared to be the remains of solid food in his stomach. Furthermore, there were signs on his body that he did not die a natural death. The mummy's spine appeared to be damaged, his collarbone broken, and his skull been smashed by a blow to the head. Triton in ancient Greek mythology, God, the hermitage of the depths, the son of Poseidon and Amphitrite, father of the Tritons. There were two types of Tritons. 
with a fish or dolphin tail and human hands, as well as with a fish tail and front legs of a horse, Itias and Tavri. Triton's attributes were a dolphin, a wine horn, a twisted sink. With the help of the latter, it extracts either stormy or delicate sounds, depending on whether it raises a storm or calms a dispersed water element. Mizen, the famous trumpet player in Aea, died because he dared to challenge Triton to compete in the game of the horn. Even the giants turned to flee at the familiar sound of the Triton's sink. Tritons at the sea represent a family. They are loving, mullet, carried with the noise of the sea and pipe into their sinks, embodimenting the noisy changing nature of the water element, with the mysterious life of its depth. Frederick Myers was the first to use the word telepathy in December 1882. Humans are capable of telepathic communication. This ability is in our DNA. However, most cannot achieve full telepathy due to a lack of spiritual practice and consumption of toxic food and drink. The best way to access these abilities is by meditating consistently while consuming healthy foods and pure structured water. Faroe Islands Algafeli and Hafil Pyramids, I mean mountain peaks. Come to your own conclusions. One day in the 1990s, a woman found a strange creature in the woods, and 20 years since her death and that of the humanoid, people still argue what it really was. Those who saw Alyashenka described it as a 20 to 25 centimeter tall humanoid. Brown body, no hair, big protruding eyes, moving its tiny lips, making squeaky sounds. In 2001, Italian archaeologist Mario Polia discovered the report of a missionary named Andres Lopez in the Vatican archives. In the document, which dates from 1600, Lopez describes in great detail a large city rich in gold, silver and jewels, located in the middle of the tropical jungle called Petiti by the natives. Lopez informed the Pope about his discovery, and the Vatican has kept Petiti's location secret for decades. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.